After the Elizabethan age or rather say the age of English Renaissance there came a second and a greater renaissance in the age of puritan so let's learn more about that hello everyone this is polomi dash and you're watching english literature with polomi When previously the renaissance or the rebirth was of the intellectual awakening in the elizabethan age in the puritan age the rebirth or the renaissance was of the moral nature of man so before learning about today's topic don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications <laughs> The Puritan age can be categorized into two parts. Firstly, the Jacobian age and secondly, the Caroline age. Jacobian age was named after the ruling monarch King James I. After the death of Queen Elizabeth I in the year 1603, James I ascended to the throne of England and he ruled from 1603 to 1625. The Jacobian age bore the shadow of the glory of the previous Elizabethan age. The eminent writers of the Elizabethan age like Shakespeare, Bacon, Ben Jonson were still writing during this period. Caroline age. Caroline age is named after the ruling king, King Charles I. He ruled the throne of England from 1625 to 1649. His rule ended in 1649 with his public execution when he was beheaded. The Caroline Age saw the famous English Civil War that was fought between the supporters of the king also known as the Cavalier and the supporter of the parliament also known as the Roundheads. The Puritan Age thus extended it roughly from the civil war and the execution of king charles 1 in 1649 to the restoration of king charles 2 in the 1660 in between this period england was ruled by parliament under the leadership of oliver cromwell oliver cromwell ruled england as the lord protector from 1653 to 1658 until his death and in 1658 With the death of Cromwell the commonwealth also collapsed Now who are the puritans Well puritans are basically english protestants who sought to purify the church of england of roman catholic practices The bible was their sole authority and they believe that it applies to every area and levels of life The Puritan age is further remarkable for its literary features like metaphysical poets The term metaphysical poets was coined by the critic Samuel Johnson to describe a loose group of English poets whose writings are characterized by the use of conceit The famous metaphysical poets are John Donne Andrew Marvell Henry Vaughan George Harvard and Richard Crashaw Cavalier poets Cavalier poets are a school of poets during the 17th century that came from the classes that supported the king Charles 1 during the English civil wars The famous Cavalier poets are Herrick Lovelace Carew Suckling Most of the Cavalier poets were courtiers The drama almost disappeared for about 18 years from English stage after the Puritans shut down all theaters of England in the year 1642. It was basically on moral and religious ground that the Puritans shut down all public theaters. It was only after the restoration of Charles II in the year 1660 that the dramas and the theaters reopened in England. In comparison to the Elizabethan age, the Puritan age produces fewer greater writers. But it was John Milton who belonged to the age 
who stands as one of the greatest in the history of English literature. Milton's contributions and his achievements is considered to be the second only to that of William Shakespeare. John Milton is best known for his Paradise Lost, which is widely regarded as the greatest epic poem in the English literature. His other epic poems are Paradise Regain and Samson Agonistus. His famous poems are La Allegro and Il Penseroso. He is also famous for writing the elegy Lycidas, which is one of the most important texts in English literature. Summing up. In this module, we talk about the Puritan age with its socio-political traits and also about the literary features of the period. We knew about the Jacobian age, the Caroline age, about the civil war of England between the Cavaliers and the Roundheads and also about Oliver Cromwell. In the literary tendencies, we knew about the metaphysical poets, the Cavalier poets, the closure of theatre in 1642 by the Puritans and also about one of the greatest poets of the period, John Milton. That's it for today. In this video, we talk about the Puritan age. In the coming video, we'll come up with some other important topics. If you like this video, do let me know in the comment section below. This channel is really new and it needs your support to grow. So do subscribe the channel and share the video with all who need it. So I'll see you on the next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.